Listen, good, good morning, everybody, and you're really very welcome. You know, what a wonderful job we have in internal comms. You know, we get to tell everyone in the organization what's going on. And everybody loves to know what's going on, and that's our job, to tell them what's going on. We get to tell them about the vision that the organization has. We get to connect them with that vision so that they know the purpose and why they're at work. We get to tell them about the strategy, how the company is going to bring about that vision. We get to tell them where they fit in with that, in that strategy, and what part they contribute. And then we get to give them all the information that they need in order to do that well. And when they're connected like that, and when we do that job well, they feel part of the organization, and two things happen. One, they're much happier in their jobs, and we impact their whole well-being. And secondly, it impacts the performance of the organization hugely. So what an important and wonderful job we have. And that's my view of internal comms. And that's what I think internal comms is all about. And that's what we try and do and strive to do in Populo within our own company all the time. And you know, we don't always get it right. And when we're getting it wrong, we know because what you see is you see confusion in the organization. You see frustrations. And you see friction starting to happen. But when we address that and we get it right and we do it well, then the company flies and it really goes well. There's a thing that I do with everyone who joins the, the company and I sit with them and I talk and I give them this, this metaphor of, of a wheel in the organization and it's sort of like a circle with each of the departments of the organization in there and I place them within that. And I talk about when we're out of alignment and when there's that confusion and frustration and that in the organization, it's no longer round, it's pulled in all directions. And it's, and, and, but when, when it's aligned, it's this perfect circle and it flies. And that's, that's the impact of, of, uh, of us doing our job well. And you know, within us, within our organization, that wheel, that comes down to values. We call it, in, in, and the, the particular value is, is together we're better. But in business terms, it purely means strategic alignment. And in communications terms, it means just good comms, good strategic comms. And when we get that right, the impact it has is huge. And to do that right, and to do that well, it takes a mindset shift. It takes a shift on how we look on our employees, that employees aren't a, a bunch, a resource that are to be, to, be, to be controlled and told, but they're more, they're people. And they're the people who are actually, if we enable them and give them what they need, they're the ones who are going to execute our plans. They're the ones who are going to create the success of the organizations. They're the ones who are going to sell our company and our idea. And they're going to, the ones who are going to be our ambassadors. And whether we like it or not, that's happening. And so that focus and that shift on people is hugely important if we're going to do our job well. And that's the reason why a few months back earlier this year, when we rebranded and we changed our name to Populo, because Populo means people. And what that will do is keep us, Populo, as a company on the straight and narrow, focused on people and releasing the power of the people in, in, in your organizations. And so that's what we're about. And so I've said it's a great job, and, it's, and, and it is, and I absolutely love it. But what I didn't say was that it's an easy job, because it's not. And I did allude to the fact that even in a company our size, the difficulty that we can have in aligning. So just to imagine what it can be like when you've not hundreds, but when you've got thousands, or tens of thousands, or hundreds of thousands, as a number of you in this room have doing it at that scale and the, and the, and the difficulties that that pre um, presents. But that's what we're about in Popular. We're about understanding what those challenges and those difficulties are for you. And we do that by getting close to all of you and to all of our customers. And we do it through days like this. 
We do it through, through visits to your company, to your companies. We do it by inviting you to, to us and to visit us and to get to know us so that we really understand your problems. And you know, we, we did that recently and um, Richard Gira there, I was talking to him last night, who will be speaking later, came from GSK and he came and, uh, on one of those customer visits onto our site. And uh, I think he was surprised at the end where he found the total role reversal to this, where he found himself on stage where the audience were the popular people, the customer success people, the sales people, the engineers who build the product, questioning him about his business and what he does and why he does it. And I think he said last night at one stage that there was, you know, he was thrown a question by one engineer. He's saying, whoo, that's a good question. But likewise, later in the day, Richard threw a question at us. The same thing, whoa, that's a good question. And that's that learning that we get by staying close, that close to our customers. And we do that with, with a number of them. That was um, um, GSK, but recently also um, Barclays and Unilever also came. And you look at that, look at the, the you've got, you got pharmaceuticals, you've got financial banking, you've got FMCG, you had British Gas, a utility. The spread of who we get close to to understand the challenges of comms. And it goes from, from logistics with, with Maersk in Denmark, right across Europe down to, to telecommunications and Telefonica in Spain. A few weeks ago, we had a bunch came for a week from the World Health Organization. They're using us across Africa in over 30 countries in Africa and the challenges that they've got there. We've got Saudi Aramco, the biggest oil producer in the world, in, in, the, in, in the Gulf. We've got Israel. Um, We've got uh, a couple of people I saw on the list from Amdocs software in Israel, but also Teva Pharmaceutical again. We've got Tata in India. We've got airlines, Cathay Pacific in Hong Kong. We've got a, at least a dozen in Australia. So right around the world, we're getting close and talking and seeing what are the challenges that, in, that, that you guys have to communicate effectively and to bring about that vision that we have for internal comms. And those challenges are the same right across the world. They're the same. There's sometimes the problem that you've got is the CEO who doesn't buy into the vision that I put out there and doesn't see the importance or doesn't understand that that mindset shift is needed around employees and the value that, they can, that, 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 that he or she can get if you do make that shift. Sometimes it's just the sheer volume of data that we have now and information that's swilling around the organization, clogging it up, making people so um, swamped that they, that they switch off and we lose them. Sometimes it's trying to get to an unconnected workforce. Sometimes it's, it's measuring the comms that we're doing so we understand what we're doing so how we can improve it in that. And sometimes then, even more, it's what's the business objective we were trying to achieve with those communications? And how do we measure that? How do we measure whether these comms were effective at all in the first place? And the challenge that it presents us of being not a messenger, but being a strategic communicator within our organizations. Coming back to being able to deliver on that strategic alignment that I talked about that makes our companies work and really um, um, compete in today's marketplace. So we, in Populo, having set up that as all the challenges, no, we don't solve them all. But I can tell you this, and this is my, my message to you, that's what we're about, solving those problems, learning as much as we can so that what we don't solve with them today, we'll solve more of those tomorrow for you so that you can go into your organizations and we want you to be able to radically transform the comms and place it at the heart of your organization. That's our mission. That's what we're about and that's what we've set ourselves up to do. And so that's the commitment that I, that I give to you today. And that's, and that's what today is about. Today is about you guys have all, and I thank you for it, given up some time and come here, not just to, to listen to me, but to listen to each other and to meet each other and to, to see, whoa, gosh, someone else has these challenges. What are they doing? That's why we have a predominance of our speakers are actually people who are, or are practitioners like yourselves, as well as the industry experts that we have. And so look, 
You're all very welcome to today. I hope it, it advances you in your roles and in your jobs that you've got in internal comms and moves you closer to putting that comms in the center of the organization, which is, which is the theme of our, of our um, conference. So I'm gonna hand you over to your MC for the day, um, Eric Sheely. And you know, five years ago, when we started on our, on our journey in internal comms, we wanted to have an impact globally on the world of internal comms. And we knew that if we wanted to do that, we had to be not just selling here in the States, because we're an Irish company, but not just selling in the States, but we had to be on the ground here in the States. And that's when I approached Eric, who I knew for a while, and knew that he had the skills to do that for us, and convinced him to, to, to come on board and, to, and, to, um, and put a team on the ground here. And all you hear in the room today are, are the result of the good work that those guys have done here.